Hello everyone. Welcome to DWBA Adda. Today we'll discuss more on basic queries in retrieving data from BigQuery tables. Let's start with aggregation functions. What is an aggregate function? An aggregate function operates a field multiple rows at once. Meaning for a particular field we choose to calculate some value like count of records, summation of values, or minimum maximum for a set of records we get the calculated values for each set let's suppose let's see select count star from emp table what is the set here we are applying the set here is enter table so we'll get one output now let's write a query to find out the words that have been used mostly by shakespeare across his novels for that we choose this table shakespeare the schema defines like word what is a single unique word extracted from the novel and word count the number of times that word appears in that novel and corpus is the novel from which the word was extracted and corpus date when the novel was published so for that i have written the query already if you see in the select class i'm selecting the word and number of times the novel the word has appeared and the summation of the word count as total in the from class i have specified the fully qualified table name and in the where i have applied a filter condition so that i don't get a minimal words and in group by i'm grouping it by word because i want the count by word what if i don't use the word or group by here i'll get a single output because the table will be treated as a single set with specified in the filter condition where in that case we have to remove word from the select class and in having i have applied two more different filters and in order by i have applied the order in which uh, the data should be displayed and i am limiting the query results up to 20 records so you may observe one thing here i have applied the filter conditions in two places one is where class and another is having class what is the difference in the where class if you apply a filter the filter will be applied when the select queries Uh, triggered on the table while the scanning itself the filter will be applied so we'll scan minimal data and having will be applied when when the data is extracted from the table and all the calculations are done then the filter will be applied so if you want to scan minimal data if your query wants to be more performant then try to push your logic as much as into where class if it is applicable and you can observe in select class i have applied two aggregate functions count star and the sum of the word count if i launch this query i'll get the specified results or required results see should is the word that has been mostly used in 42 novels and 1505 times shakespeare must be enjoying saying what people should do this is an insight from this uh, query result now let's discuss on joins i have already prepared one query for joins when do we use joins when you want to get multiple columns from multiple tables based on a condition we'll use joins so if you see this query i'm fetching the data from two tables one is github timeline and another is github nested so i use alias names to avoid the ambiguity if you observe here in the select class i am fetching the data from one table these fields and from the second table i am fetching the public to apply the join big query we use ansi sql standards we use join keyword to join two tables and as we know What, there should be a common fields to join two tables and here we have repository url and 
with on keyword i have joined these two tables in bigquery it only supports equi joins and inner and outer joins will be supported we will discuss that in next classes i have also applied a filter condition in where class if i launch this query i'll get required results that will be coming from two tables you may observe the result which are satisfied with our conditions let's now discuss about subqueries subquery is a nested select statement if you observe here i have already prepared one subquery when do we go for subqueries when we have to deal with different sets of data at different granularity or different types of calculations in which you cannot do it in single select statement we go for multiple select statements included in one single select statement if you see here i am trying to calculate the relativity from the table github nested where all the repository urls which have the issues and i'm selecting that in one select statement and i am selecting the all the repositories which are which are uh, published in year wise so here i am grouping it by the year and getting this year from the field created at which is of type uh, substring so here i am simply using substring function to get the year first four digits if you see the schema of the table if i go to preview you can see the data you can observe here repository dot created it here i am selecting this first four digits you can also use extract function to fetch the date part from the date field here and combining these two select statements using this condition and here i am calculating the relativity now let's discuss about unions when we are supposed to combine data from two different data sets probably from two different select statements or from two different tables here i have prepared one already a basic statement you can observe here on the console and i'm fetching the data from github timeline with the two different where conditions in one select statement and you can see another in second select statement you can observe here i haven't written a union keyword as in sql bigquery uses this comma symbol to specify union this comma symbol in bigquery indicates union all if i launch this query i'll get the required results this is a very basic simple query you can observe the required data has already displayed here this is all about basic queries and we'll discuss advanced queries in next classes thank you very much